In this video we're going to look at the parametric equation of a line. We're going to look at how to find it and how to use it. So the, the parametric equation of a line is when we have um, x as a function of t and y as a function of, t, of a t. And the general form of those is a two linear functions of t. So x equals a plus bt and y equals c plus dt. If we want to find the equation of a line from two points, what is quite nice is if we've got those points x1, y1, x2, y2, the um, function of t of x is just given by x1 plus the difference of the x coordinates t, and the y function is similar. So let's see an example of that one. So here we can see the x1 is 2, um, and the x2 is 7. So we get x equals 2 plus 7 minus 2t, and a similar method is used to find the um, function of t for y. Simplifying those expressions gives us the equation of our line in parametric form. Then we get the um, parametric equation from the Cartesian form. I'm not going to go into too much detail. All I'm going to say is all we need are two points, because that's what we did previously. So if we see an example, we've got y equals 3x plus 2. Now remember, we need any two points. The thing that's easiest to do is to say x equals 0, y equals 2, so that's our first point, and x equals 1, y equals 5, is our next point. And we just use those with the method that I've just shown you. What about if we want the Cartesian form from the parametric the other way round? Well, we need a point um, to find the equation of a line, and we saw that in conics part 1. And we can get that by just substituting the value for t. And t equals 0 makes sense. And then we need the gradients. And the nice thing is the gradients is simply um, d divided by d. That's the coefficient of t in the function of t for y, and the coefficient of t for the... Um, function of t for x. And then we use, just like we did in the first um, tutorial, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So here's an example. If we want to find the point, let t equals 0, and we get x equals 3 and y equals 4. And then the gradient is simply um, the coefficient of t in y, which is just minus 1, over the coefficient of t in x, which is 4. And then we just substitute that into the function y minus y1, so y minus the y value, so y minus 4, equals the gradient m um, times x minus the x value, which is 3. OK, so here's two questions for you to try. You might want to pause the video, see how you do, and check your answers um, afterwards. OK. So to find the parametric equation um, of a line, all we need are two points. So as we said before, if x equals 0, y equals 1, x equals 1, y equals 6. And we're just going to substitute those into these two equations. So because um, x1 is 0, there is no constant term, so we just get x equals t. And in the next one, we get y equals y1, which is just 1 plus the difference in the y's, which is 5t. When I say the difference in the y's, it must be y2 minus y1. The next one, find the gradient of the line represented by these two functions. Well, it's the coefficient of t in y, which is 4, over the coefficient of um, t in x, which is 2. And so 4 divided by 2 is 2. Here are two questions that you can do on your own. You can discuss the answer with your friends. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.